Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a motherfucking movie. So, we're going to get straight into the topic today. You know, this video is about relationship advice, knowing that it's time to leave the relationship or you shouldn't put too much energy into the relationship you are in. You know what I'm saying? So what are the five signs? You know what I'm saying? Hit the comments, guys. Let me let, let me know what's your order of when it's time to leave the, leave the relationship. And I'm going to give you mine. You know? Um, okay. I'll give y'all a moment. You know, moment to share. Um, so let's get into the first re thing. The first major thing that guys do not pay attention to you know if she has a social media and it's not like where she is just taking casual photos you know what I'm saying she's dressed like a woman she could be in the bikini sometimes you know what I'm saying but if you run across a woman and you get a hold to her social media and you're following her on Instagram and she's twerking, if she's um, 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 half nude in most of her photos, if she has an OnlyFans, then that's a sign that you shouldn't invest too much into that relationship because... You know, she's using it like like women like that. They use guys as ATMs. They not necessarily with you, you know, because they they're not necessarily with you because they want to build something. You know what I'm saying? Or they want to follow you. You know what I'm saying? They're with you for a specific reason. That's why, as long as y'all been together. She's still been posting those booty, um, booty twerk videos, uh, uh, still working on OnlyFans, you know, um, it's insane. So the next thing is, you know what I'm saying? You should leave that relationship immediately, you know, before you before she gets deep into your pockets, you know, the second thing is. The signs that it's time for a black man to lead a relationship. You know? Um, um, if she is constantly asking you every day to take her out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Take her out on a date. Take her to the mall. Take her, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, do something that's financially beneficial to her. Take her to a concert. You know? This woman right here is a gold digger, you know, and a lot of us, we don't see that. A lot of black men do not see this. You know, I'm like, how can you not see this, guys? You know, I know a lot of us are young, you know, uh, a, a, a lot of us are inexperienced with women. And when you get in real, with get into a relationship with a chick it becomes to a point where you're trying not to believe that you're not at what you think you is to this lady you know you're you're at lunch you're a sex toy etc man get out of that relationship man it's going to save you a lot of money the third thing is the to know that you need to get out of a relationship is if if she has a bunch of toxic family members, you know, so our family members, friends. If a if 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 if, if her sister's single. You know what I'm saying? And they got bad habits. They alcoholics. 
uh, uh, they do all type of recreational drugs and smoke cigarettes and stuff like that. If the aunties, if, if, if it's falling down the line that every woman that this chick is with is single, then nine times out of 10, this chick is going to be just like the people that she surround herself with, you know, because women tend to share things with each other. And what I noticed with black women is that when black women don't like something, they all don't like something. Well, if, if, if a black woman likes a dude, they all like, like a guy. You know, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is, if you get with a chick and she's in college, if you get with a chick and she's in college and she's prioritizing her education over marriage, man, run for the hills. This chick is high want to be high maintenance this black woman or whoever she is is want to be high maintenance so i'm gonna save you from a highway robbery of you wasting time you trying to get with this chick and she's like oh i just want to wait until i get married you know and stuff like that but still she wants to put the label that you are her boyfriend or someone you're trying to get with her so that that stops you from getting with the chick that, that that you actually need to be with. Because this chick, just because this chick's going to school for a career, there's other chicks who go to school for to find uh, a, a man to be submissive to. A man to be in a relationship with. Um, Let's get into the fifth thing, guys. The last thing. So... The last thing is, if you meet a chick and and you know how when you getting to know somebody, you know, and she's listening to Glorilla, she's listening to Sexy Red. It's not like she's scamming and she just liked the song, but she actually is messing with these artists meaning that when somebody mess with an artist like a lot of us mess with tupac and a lot of us have certain things that we're doing you know what I'm saying? A, a, a lot of us have certain things that we're doing you know and what happens is a lot of times You know, this chick, this chick, if she listening to all these pr provocative songs, W.A.P., uh, My Booty Hole Brown, um, I'm, 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 I'm this alpha male type of female, you know, man, nine times out of ten, run for the hills, man. Man, man this woman's for the streets. She's, a, she, she, she's one of them hood chicks. She's not thinking world. She's not thinking germany africa she's thinking oh i'm from the hood and this is what i do and this is what i'm rapping you know what i'm saying and i'm listening to this shit so i'm rocking with it so absolutely insane so guys that's all we got for the video today guys man make sure you guys like share and subscribe um and man make sure you guys always remember man it's a motherfucking movie over and out